Ever wonder why Sika deer kick, instead of using their antlers to fight surprisingly, their fighting style closely resembles that of kangaroos. They stand on their hind legs and frantically strike with their front legs. The only major difference is they lack a tail for support, so they can't deliver flying kicks. In rare instances, they do use their antlers for ramming, but this is essentially a hurt the enemy 1000, damage yourself 800 type of move. This is because deer antlers are solid but soft, filled with blood vessels and nerves. Even slight contact can cause excruciating pain, so they avoid using them whenever possible. So why do Sika deer shed their antlers? Actually, Sika deer naturally shed their antlers once a year. The antlers begin growing in summer. At this stage, they're fuzzy and called velvet antlers. They're extremely soft and full of nerves and blood vessels. Over approximately six months, they complete the ossification process. By winter, they naturally fall off and the deer feel absolutely no pain because the ossification process has already severed the nerves. How enchanting is the Sika deer's call? Their vocalizations are incredibly soothing, a melodious high-pitched sound. Listening to them is like hearing your girlfriend sweetly cooing and being affectionate. It's both healing and captivating. Wait, don't Sika deer have spots? So what's happening with these spotless ones? This occurs during their winter coat change when their fur becomes thicker and darker, causing the normally distinct spots to become less visible. This adaptation also improves their camouflage, reducing the risk of predation. When summer arrives, the spots reappear, 